Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was just playing around with this design. And I used quite a few tools to make it equal and good. I'm gonna grab the polygon tool, have it on six sided, hold down the control button so it's perfect. Go here and left click, double click on your pen tool and grab say 36 points, say okay. Go up to object, convert the outline to an object. Then you can left, left click, right click. So now here's one of the reasons I decided to make the video. How would you get a line equal on both sides exactly right there? Well, what you can do is take your virtual segment leaky and delete those lines, and that's pretty important. Go can hit the plus key on your keyboard and then mirror it. Now you've got two lines that are equal. Now we want a third line that it doesn't really matter where it is because it's just going to be a, a line. And I think on the first one I went the opposite direction. I'm actually going to go kind of from the same direction. Maybe rotate a little bit, maybe move it up a little bit. Now I'm going to see how big this thing is. It's less than four inches. I'm going to set my nudge factor on four. I'm going to take the smart field tool and I'm going to fill that shape in. And then I'm going to fill that shape in. Now I have two parts so I can delete this. I'm going to make a duplicate of it by hitting plus and then I'm going to left click, right click, and I'm going to grab both of them. I'm going to go to object. I'm going to group them together. I'm going to grab them. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to contour. I'm going to contour to the outside. Point one. I'm going to go to object, break contour apart. I'm going to grab our contour. I'm going to move it down and over. Now I'm going to take the interactive fill tool and I'm going to grab right there and I'm going to kind of grab it out and we could change the colors. We could make this one white and this, you know what? I don't like that blue. Let's get a better blue. I don't ever get to play with colors. So I want to, I want it nice. Now we can extend this because we want just a little bit of light there. Now here's a good little trick. You can take the color eyedropper tool and take the attribute, take a sample of there and put it in there. So now you have those two colors. Now here's where the contour comes in. And I would have had trouble probably contouring it with those colors. Now I'm gonna control G and group them together. Let's bring it in the picture. And I'm gonna hit the plus key on my keyboard. I'm gonna double click on it. I'm gonna put it on that note and I should have used sharp corners because I'm having trouble with that little bit of rounded corner to get to that node. And so I should have, you know what, we still can real quick. Let's take this away, take our contour away. Whoop, I need to ungroup it. You know, somebody said one time they like my videos because I make mistakes and keep going. Of course, I deleted my other line. So let's back up here a little bit. There's our other line. Let's go back to the contour and this time use square corners. Now we've got a good sharp corner. Let's take that and delete that line. Let's go up to object and break contour apart. Let's grab the contour and move it over. Now I got a good sharp, sharp point. So let's delete that one. Let's bring this into the picture a little bit. Now what I could do is, and the reason the contour is there, you're fixing to see. I'm gonna control G and group it. I'm gonna control D and duplicate it. I'm gonna make the center rotation of that node and I'm gonna rotate it 120 degrees. Control D and it's done. Now all we have to do is select it all, go up to back up to your pen tool and right click, no outline. And voila, you have a printable design. I don't know if you'd ever use it, but you might get some, learn some tricks like on the contour tool and the interactive fill tool and how to move stuff around. And you know, you could always do other things like put a circle, put it in the center, and smart fill with a red or something. Let's go yellow. That would look pretty cool printed on a t-shirt. 
whatever it would mean. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.